How's it going guys, OG Side here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get a stretched resolution on Fortnite. I personally have been playing with the stretched resolution, and I really like it, and I've actually been playing a lot better, and it plays a lot smoother, since you can get a lot more frames per second with a stretched res. So the first step is to click Windows key and R, and type in percent local app data percent. And then it'll take you to the app data local folder. And from here, you're going to want to find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client. And your game may not have all of these files. It may only have three, but it always should have game user settings.ini. So right click that, go to properties, make sure read only isn't checked. And click OK or apply if you need to uncheck it. All right, now we're going to open this file. We're going to open it with notepad. And then all the values that say 1920 by 1080, we're going to change to what ours is. Um, the most common uh, resolution Y sizes for the resolution X's, or I said that backwards, but I mostly, I tried out 1600, I tried out 1440, and I tried out uh, 1162. And my favorite one is 1440, so I'm going to change it to 1440 by 1080. You can change this to whatever one you like. But I think 1440 is a good balance of looking realistic and also looking thick as well. So make sure you change these four uh, values and then click on File and then Save. Now you can close out of this. So next we're going to want to go to NVIDIA Control Panel or your AMD driver software, depending on whichever one that you're using. So right click and go on NVIDIA Control Panel on your desktop. Now once this is opened, you're going to want to click on Change Resolution and we're going to add a custom resolution. So you see, I have 1440 by 1080, you're going to do it to whatever resolution you're playing on. So you're going to click Create a Custom Resolution, change this to 1440 or whichever one you're playing on and change this to your Y whatever you're playing on and click on test. I already have mine, so I'm not gonna do that, but just make sure that it's checked up here. Click okay. And you don't necessarily need to apply it. All you have to do is set it to whatever your resolution was before. Since I have a 1080p monitor, I'm just gonna use that. And whenever you go into Fortnite, it'll actually change your resolution to 1440. Next, you're gonna to go to manage 3D settings and make sure your DSR factors or smoothness are both off. For DSR factors, you're just going to want to uncheck all of these boxes, make sure none of them are checked, make sure it's off. So now that we're in Fortnite, you should have a stretched resolution, and when since you're in 1440p on your graphics settings or your graphics card drivers, your mouse should be clicking on your buttons accurately, and they should not be off at all. If they're off at all, you definitely have a problem, and you need to investigate that, or troubleshoot it. Now that we're in Fortnite and we're playing at a stretch resolution, it'll say 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you had it before since that's what you changed in the game files. So if you change this at all, then you are going to have a problem and it's going to revert it back and maybe some updates are going to actually revert it back and you'll need to go through the steps with the Fortnite uh, settings again. But your 3D resolution should detect your actual resolution. And that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe if you want more Fortnite tutorials. Definitely leave a comment down saying what you want them to be. But, bis adios, my dudes.